who has been just spectacular for the Celtics. She'll jump against Hartenstein. Boston has also won seven in a row on the road. Missing is, as Lisa said, the 11th straight game. Porzingis gets inside. Well defended by Hartenstein, although Porzingis thought he was hit. Brunson steps into a three. With a high level of aggressiveness to start. Porzingis being guarded by DiVincenzo. Now gets some help from Achua. An off-balance shot is good. And these are two very good defensive teams. Well, the Celtics putting up sometimes some historic offensive numbers. Many threes. Now, analytically, that's a good thing. But they needed a counterpunch. And Chris stops Porzingis, particularly as a post-up player versus mismatches, has provided that. But that's what coaches are supposed to say. They're all paranoid. All of them. Brunson. Not that time. Porzingis hauls in the rebound. Derek White, little hesitation, spins, kicks it out. Brown back up top. Tatum off the fake. Extra pass, good ball movement through Holiday. He's shooting 63%. Huge height advantage. Porzingis trying to get some room. DiVincenzo trying to poke it away. But Porzingis comes up short. Rebound, Sims. Porzingis rolls, goes inside, and fouled by Burks. He had the highest scoring debut in Celtics history. 30 points, 8 rebounds, 4 blocks. This is from a former. And we use the term perfect fit a lot. There's a number of perfect fits on the Boston Celtics, including Kristaps Porzingis. And right now, it's a 6-point lead for the Celtics. And a defensive three second, second time, second time call against Kristaps Porzingis. Seven foot three, you can give that cushion and still make a good challenge. Inside the lob, Porzingis counted and a foul. The Celtics have their largest lead of the first half. They are so good at offensive rebounding it's because of his effort. Porzingis stripped down low. Tried to go back up, and he's got hit with a technical foul. But we don't want to be caught in rotation. We don't want to give up wide open threes. You might have to get 60 to beat us, Jalen, but it's going to be just individual one-on-one -on -one defense. Now count it and a foul. One single defender in their starting five. You think about this. We, we talk all the time about Derek White and Drew Holiday defensively. Point of attack as White hits another three. He's different than Robinson, too, Mike, because of his passing ability. And he can make a 15-foot shot. Porzingis can make a 25-foot shot. Nails that one, the Celtics. Brunson now with Porzingis on him. Trying to step back. Gets the shot off. Count it and one. Jalen Brunson. For Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum. They're shooting just under 70%. Brunson floats it up. That shot short. A rebound, Porzingis. Nearly trips over. But I don't care. I mean, he's just working so hard, and I love that he's in attack mode. Porzingis, no hesitation. DiVincenzo goes under the screen. White gets away. Ball deflected, but Porzingis kicks it over to Hauser. And Hauser, the latest Celtic to throw one down from three-point land. Porzingis catches, fires, and hits again. Kristaps Porzingis now with 16 points. He's only taken nine shots. They are uncluttered. They just make quick decisions. They make the right read time and time again as Tatum hits one from the E. Here's White. Brown cuts left-handed, can't get it to go. And Porzingis fouled on the follow. But they get these two huge acquisitions, Holiday and Porzingis. They have the continuity of their two stars. Brad Stevens has done a fantastic job in that front office. He was a part of so many big playoff moments, made some big shots throughout his career. Ultimately, you know, you get the emotion, somebody so important. As McBride goes past, goes inside, shot blocked, Porzingis and Holiday right there. You know, appropriate switching, timely. And then sometimes the late closeouts to challenge. Oh, white to Porzingis. Brunson fakes, drives, gets inside, blocked from behind. Hartenstein on the follow, can't get it but a foul. Once again, the duo of Porzingis and Holiday. Tatum to Porzingis, this time puts it on the floor. 
He's just knocking him down. 22 now for Porzingis. And they coast here in the second half here at Madison Square Garden.